wanted to give you a little heads up before this video begins. So this unboxing that I did got cut quite a bit short from editing because I found that there were a lot of changes made in this kettle. This kettle I got was a first production run, which is no, which they've made updates to before they shipped it out to customers. So I got the pre-released version of it. So I cut all of the things that I found that were in the pre-release that were issues that they resolved for the actual launch of the kettle. So for example, there's a beeping noise on the kettle every time you adjust the temperatures. They have resolved this for the future one. There's also the fact that when it's in Fahrenheit, it jumps up by two degrees instead of one. Also has been fixed to my knowledge after sending them some emails. And lastly, there was a thing about a power switch being on the back of it and it was kind of hard to turn on and off. The reason for that is because that is the main power switch yet the machine or the kettle actually turns off automatically after about 30 minutes. So the LED screen will disappear and you never actually have to flip the switch on the back. So those were a few of the issues that I didn't like in my model, but they've since resolved those for when it's coming out. I believe the kettle is coming out for about $120, which makes it pretty comparable to other companies in the market. The Stag EKG comes without wooden handles uh, for $150, I believe. So it's about $30 less with wooden accents. I believe this kettle is actually gonna be a pretty good one um, and it has exceeded my expectations so far. So look for the review and the comparison coming up. I'm gonna put it next to Bona Vita um, do, uh, Temp Kettle, which was the number one kettle years and years ago before fellow Stag or fellow products released the Stag EKG, which has now become the go-to kettle for many people. And this kettle just hit them, is gonna hit the market soon. So I'm gonna compare all three of those. So look for reviews and stuff like that. But I wanted to give you a heads up because this video is a little short because I did clip a lot of those things that I was confused about while my unboxing. Um, so I, I removed those um, in order to give the kettle a fair comparison on what it will look like for the customers and with confirmation that I've gotten from emails saying those issues were resolved. If those issues weren't resolved, there would be a whole nother take on my video and I would have left that stuff in there. But I hope you understand why I did this. This is still a completely unbiased review, but just so you know. So go ahead and enjoy this video. Today we have an unboxing of the Kitchen Boss Global coffee kettle. But before we do that, I just want to say welcome to Gavin's Coffee Corner. This channel is designed to help you choose the coffee gear you want to brew with at home. If you're looking at uh, reviews and comparison, they're going to be happening on this channel. And it would help me out so much if you would please like and subscribe. That really helps me push out more content to more people. Also, I do have an Instagram account called Gavin's Coffee Corner. You're more than welcome to follow me there. Lastly, this uh, kettle was sent to me in exchange for an unboxing video and a review, so that's what we're gonna get. But other than that, they have no say on my opinion on what I think of this um, kettle. And they had quite a few different color options to pick from, so I'm curious to see what ended up coming in this packaging. Uh, first off, it seems super lightweight. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So it looks like I got a black color, and we have a nice little instruction manual. And have the kettle here. A lot of packaging in it. It feels like weight, but it's been a few years since I unboxed the Bonavita kettle, which was the the standard for a while uh, prior to um, the Fellow Stag EKG, which is the normal run-of-the-mill kettle I got here that I use every day. Um, so let's go ahead and check this out. So we got the base here and thick wire here. One of the things that the Bonavita kettle does that I feel like every kettle should do is it should have a little storage space underneath of it to kind of wrap the wire underneath of. So it kind of hides out of your countertop, but not a big deal. So we have a gooseneck, which I'm very intrigued to see how this is gonna uh, stay in comparison with the gooseneck that I currently have in comparison. Um, so right off the bat is the handle feels super lightweight. The spout looks really nice, um, but it feels a little 
Handle feels a little cheap. Uh, lid comes off pretty well. Nice black kettle. It does feel, the wood doesn't feel super premium, but it does feel like very ergonomic to hold. A uh, nice thumb rest here, uh, things like that. I'm also not a super big fan of the wood of the Stag EKG, so that's you're going to see a lot of comparisons to the Stag EKG on that. Um, plug it in there, and you can do uh, nice little adjustments. I'll be right back after I put some water in. All right, now that I got my water in my kettle, I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there and mess with the settings a little bit which seems like a little odd. So it seems like you have to turn it to what you want and then click the confirm button um, for it to heat up and hold that. Uh, I, I got my cup. Now it's just time to check the pour of this. And what I'm checking for is just to see how slow I can make it, which I would say pretty slow. It seems like you have good control over the flow rate of it. Pours decently fast, but not too fast. Maybe a little bit faster than the Stag EKG. But you have nice control. And it looks like no, no drippage from that. So one of the things I noticed with my Stag EKG is it often drips. And there's a nice stained spout that I'm not a super big fan of. Um, so yeah, this is the Kitchen Boss Electric Kettle. Uh, we're going to be doing a full review on this uh, later, so stay tuned for that. So again, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. That helps me get opportunities to review new gear that's on the market, like the Kitchen Boss uh, Kettle. Um, so if you want to see more of that, you subscribing and you liking really helps me do things like that. If you have any questions on this kettle, please let me know, and I'd love to answer those uh, for you. And again, thank you so much for watching.